Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is ripple trimming. So what is ripple trimming? Well, think of ripples in a pond. Something happens here and it affects everything downstream or outwards. So that's what you'll probably be doing a lot in uh, Premiere Pro. You'll be editing something and it affects everything down in the other line if you shorten something or extend something. I'll show you two ways to do this, one without ripple trimming, um, uh, which is if you're new to Premiere Pro, you're probably doing this way, and then the better, smarter way, more efficient. Let's go have a look. All right, here we've got a few clips, and I would like to uh, trim this clip right here. And actually, let's trim the boat here. I want to, I'd like to trim the boat clip right here and stop it just before it gets behind that pole. So your first step is to probably shut off this line. This thing is an opacity keyframe line. And if you go to the little wrench and turn off show video keyframes, I personally do that because I find I accidentally grab that all the time and I'd rather trim than change the opacity. You can leave it on if you want. All right, so here's what you might be doing right now. You've got the regular selection tool and you come to the edge of a clip and you can see it turns to a little red trim and if I click and drag, it does exactly what I want to the clip on the left. I've now trimmed that clip, but obviously I have a hole before I go to the next clip. And what you might be doing is selecting all of this stuff over here and moving it down. Or you might be clicking in the middle and tapping the delete key to get out of that. But there's a much easier way to do that. And that is the ripple trim tool. And it's over here on the left hand side, the ripple trim tool. You can see that it turns orange when you get near the edge and you have to be near the edge of your edit. And if you go to the next edit, you'll actually see it's facing the opposite way. So if I click and drag, I've trimmed my clip and everything on the right ripples down to the left. If I go back and click and drag to the right, I'll push that down and everything ripple trims to the right. I can even go to this clip and trim this down and everything moves over. You'll notice the display that I've got up here in the top. Again, I will click on the tail of this the boat clip and I can see where the end of this is going to be. You can notice the the frame on the right is the first frame of the next clip. It's not moving because it's not ripple trimming. I'm just ripple trimming this. So I can visually see where that is, let go, and I've ripple trimmed. So you can do that all with the regular selection tool. So instead of always having to grab that different tool, notice this is my selection tool. It is set to be um, a trim tool. If I hold down the control key on Windows, the command key on Mac, it changes to the ripple trim tool automatically. Oh, that's very nice. But now let me get you into power keyboard shortcuts for ripple trimming. The Q key and the W key. And you think about it, the Q key is on this side and the W key is on that side. So I'm gonna trim this way with the Q and this way with the W key. That's all you gotta remember. Okay, let's go have a look. So much easier. I'm gonna move my playhead. I've got nothing selected. I'll move my playhead to the point where I want this trimmed. So I want the tail of this trim over to here. Tap the W key. <gasps> Did you see that? Ripple trim, next edit to playhead. That's what the W key does. So ripple trim the next edit. While well, the next edit is the cut point, ripple trim that back to where I have this. So let's do the opposite of that. Now let's move this over here. I'm going to tap the Q key and I trimmed the head to that point and everything else moved down. So much easier to do it that way. Now by default, the command or control key changes that uh, from a trim tool to a ripple trim tool. But if you go into your preferences, which is in the edit menu for Windows and the Premiere Pro menu for the Mac, you can go to the trim setting here and 
here you have a choice to allow selection tool to choose roll and ripple without the modifier key. And if I select that and click OK, now you'll notice when I come down here, it's not the trim tool by default. By default, it's the ripple trim tool and this little rolling edit. There's no right or wrong. The default is to not have that because a lot of people want to trim and only ripple trim some of the time. But if you find that you hardly ever trim, you want everything to move with it, then go into the preference and change that. So I hope that you understand that ripple uh, editing, ripple trims are going to be way, way more efficient than manually shoving everything down on the timeline because sometimes you've got stuff so far down the timeline, you're going to have to zoom all the way out and make selections and you could easily mess something up. Well, I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe link to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.